Okay, have you ever joined a Roblox game and everyone around you is just like playing memes and stuff and you don't know how to do that? So you're just standing there like... I wish that I could be like the cool kids. Now a lot of people think that to do this you have to spend hundreds on a top end piece of hardware like a GoXLR or a mixing mic. And while I have done this in the past, it really isn't necessary. You can do this completely for free. Now, unless your PC happens to have voice meter pre-installed and most don't, you will need to install a program. There's really just no way around this. After doing some research, the best one I've found is VB Audio. It's completely free, and if you don't want to trust me, and you probably shouldn't consider I'm just a random YouTuber. Is Herobrine hacking us? I think Herobrine's hacking us, guys. Safe. Just go to Reddit and ask questions like, is this a safe software? Or look through other posts asking that question, and pretty quickly you'll find that it is a safe software. A lot of people on forums trust it. Okay, so what this allows you to do is it allows you to take your computer's output and port it into a microphone, which is very useful. Now to get this, simply click download and I'll walk you through. It will download a zipped folder to your computer, so simply extract this wherever you want as I've done. And once you have this extracted, click VB Cable Setup or VB Cable Setup X64 if you have a 64-bit computer. If you're not sure, it's probably 64 if it's newer. Right click and click Run as Administrator. And yes. It'll bring you up to this page right here and then click install driver and it should start installing immediately. Now I would recommend opening this real quick, the VB audio control panel, clicking yes, and then pinning it to your taskbar because this app will need to be open in order for it to work. You can also right click it and select pin to start so that way it automatically starts the script every time you start your computer and you don't have to mess with it. And then find sound control panel right here. Now for playback, usually this plays any audio that would come out of your computer, so I'd usually play it to my headphones, but you can also play it straight into the cable input, which is what you want to do. Select cable input and select OK. Now recording is all your microphones, so you're going to want to select cable output and then use that. As you can see here, if I start playing some music, you'll see it directly under the cable output audio graph. So if I hit play, you can see it. That means it's coming out of my microphone. Now, if you joined a Roblox game right now, all the output from your computer would work. It would play through your microphone if you selected cable output on the input setting, but you don't wanna do that because then you can't hear your own output and you don't know what's playing to other people and you can't listen along. Now to fix this, select properties and then listen and then listen to this device. Now you're gonna have to set a device that you want it to play directly out of because what will happen if you don't do that is it'll create a feedback loop where you'll be listening to the mic, which is listening to what you're listening to, and it'll create this terrible ringing and it won't go away. So play back through this device. You wanna select your actual headphones this time. So if I click play here, I'll be able to hear it through the cable output and through my headphones. Now, if you join Roblox, it might not be hooked up. All you have to do is go to your settings, and under input device, you want to select cable output and under output device, you want to select your actual headphones, not cable input. That'll create a feedback loop. Now you might have an issue where if you join a game, they won't be able to hear your microphone. They'll only be able to hear the music you play. So all you have to do to fix this is go to recording, select your microphone under properties, and then select listen to this device and don't set a playback device to your headphones. You want it to go directly through the input for your cable, your virtual cable. Select apply, okay, and you will be able to hear yourself. Now the only downside is you will be able to hear yourself. I'm not really sure how to fix this. I don't think you can um, without getting really technical, but as long as you're fine with hearing yourself, you can now play music through the game. And if I start playing music, you should see it on my mic. Congratulations, you can now be a giant troll and spam all the lobbies you want with terrible ear rape. If this video helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And let me know what questions you want me to ask people in upcoming videos down below. And yeah, let me know also if you want that tutorial for Mac, I'll try and make it. And yeah, thank you for watching everyone. Have a great day and peace. Also, if you're curious what this game is, it's called Artificial Obby Showcase. I actually programmed it. So if you want to check it out, it'll be in the description down below. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to make it into an actual obby game. Basically, it generates obbies. So go check it out.